and knock on Jeremiah's bullfrog's door. It's a door to his shop, or...? No, it's his apartment. Okay. He lives above a shop. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. I mean, if you own a shop, why not live above your shop? That cuts down your commute so much. <laughs> uh, he's here. Just a minute. Come on, bullfrog! Oh, hey there. He opens it door so hey what's what's going on what can i help you with oh hey reza hey jeremiah hi jeremiah oh god no <laughs> okay can we come in for a minute i'd like to use your binoculars maybe your telescope just to see what i can see please jeremiah roll the persuaded in pc eight all right on a seven to nine, that you ca they counter your offer or demand payment, a debt, favor, resources, before agreeing to follow through. I won big at the casino a while back. Wait, wait, wait. Time. That's season two. Season two. Okay, that. This is in an ambiguous time, probably before seasons, because Riza is still a shifter. Okay. I can. I'll take some money from Anne's debts and I'll put it towards Valentine's debts to you this month. Please. <laughs> I can ship the book so Valentine doesn't notice either. I can also steer more traffic your way. That's the ticket. All right, come on. Come on in. Don't you touch anything pointing at zero. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up in the air, though. I'm looking at everything. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that was Angela, not Zero. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm looking at things. <laughs> hands in pockets. <laughs> yeah, hands in your pockets, Zero. You know, there's a lot of stuff in my pockets. Pocket like part of me <sighs> feels like another place that the bullfrog nickname comes from is because that's his brother's form. <laughs> He's a frog. <laughs> So, yeah. thank you for giving me the excuse to make that canon. <laughs> that somewhere we have a full frog shifter. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Dustin and Aiden are gonna <laughs> love me. Oh, I've already written it down. <laughs> so, what is it you're trying to find? So, you know the coffee shop down the way? Can you see see that from here? Uh, can't see all of it, but I can see like the, where the back entrance exits out. Oh, awesome! Have you, like, at night, do you check it out at all? I mean, I know the coffee shop's closed at night, but is there anything you've seen? Or, because we've been hearing a lot of weird stuff, and frankly, we're drawing a blank. And we're kind of at a standstill. We need your help. So, okay, so I'm going to do a thing. It's not necessarily a mechanic of this game. It is just a thing I do for probability of things. Do it. High or low? Low. I just rolled the dice and then I was like, D20 was the first one that popped up. Guess what? I just rolled. Not Natural 20? Yep. Oh no! <laughs> Can't say that I have. I'm usually looking in the other direction. There's some interesting activity going on, and you know, there's like a couple street magicians that live in this area, so it's probably catching some of their weird magic stuff. But yeah, I can't say I've, I've really paid that much attention to the coffee shop. Are you trying to find anything in particular, or? Well, we've heard that we, we, can you keep a secret? Certainly. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you, you know a lot of secrets, but never mind. Okay. That was silly of me to ask. I apologize if I have offended your honor, sir. We think there's a ghoul back there. Those are real, too? Reza, was I not supposed to say that? He's got a shifter twin brother. Honestly, I'm surprised he's not aware that there's a lot more things out there that most people are actually aware of. 
I am aware of that. I just didn't know ghouls were on that list. Oh, yeah. Also, I feel like thre for Thread and Zero, this is the first you've heard of him having the twin brother. Yes. Wait, you have a twin brother? Yeah, he sometimes he manages the shop whenever I have to call in sick. You don't think I work every single day, do you? How do you think I get all the shifters out? I did think you worked every single day. I thought you just forgot my face a lot. I thought you had an illusory double. No, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know the bullfrog shifter, right? This is... the... the bullfrog... I thought it... uh, never mind. Nothing about your <laughs> cheeks. <laughs> your cheeks are beautiful and perfect. <sighs> no matter what they say. Okay, so there's no illusory... double. Nope, just my brother, at least, unless there's something else he wasn't telling me. What's his name so I know? So it's your brother who turns into the bullfrog, not your illusory double. I don't think we have an illusory double, and my brother's name is Zack. That would be an illusory triple. Depends on who the illusionary's double is of. <laughs> Just because you've got twins doesn't mean it's a double, or it's, it would be a triple. Got a point. Because there's always small differences on twins. Hence, one of them is a shifter. That makes a lot of sense. No, it doesn't. Still kind of sad that skipped my side. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's been a question for the shifter community for a while. How that happened. That's just weird. Yes, yeah, so I've gathered. It finally made sense after I told me why so many people would come in and just look at me like I had two heads. <laughs> because, oh, I get it, because he did technically have two heads. His shifter head in his ring. <laughs> oh. I don't know how he meant that, but that is also a good point. <laughs> And he's, you've probably been told things that normally you would not have been told of when people think that you might be your brother. But the shifters would know. Yep. Okay, well, can we hang out here for a bit? Can I use your bathroom? No. No. Only with a chaperone. Aw, oh, you're no fun. Not it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking him to the bathroom. Looks like Jeremiah's going with you. Jeremiah's he's like, I'm not chaperoning him. I've got to <laughs> get to work soon. Sorry, y'all are going to have to find somewhere else to hang out. Can I borrow your binoculars? I promise Zero won't... No, I can't promise that. Yeah, sure. Thank you! I might have, and he dicks around. Okay, so I... I believe Zach told me these are good for spotting magical things. They're kind of useful. Uh, don't break them, but I do have an extra. Can I enhance them? No. Please don't. Ah. Uh, Netscape. You watch your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Mixed company, too. Thread, you've heard worse words from Valentine. No, like, you don't... I... Shifters, they don't understand. Is he the grumpy guy in the duster that's always kind of grumping and moping about and getting in trouble? Yeah. yeah. He's the one with the giant debt towards you. The one that I keep, you know, hey, put it on Val's tab, put it on the boss's tab, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We are so sorry. Somehow, I've not actually met him yet. It's because he's got a great assistant like me. A actually, you should count yourself lucky. He's, he's so ridiculously human. Ugh. Except he, he's... Uh, especially those ears. Jeremiah <laughs> looks offended. Now, have you seen the guy's ears? <laughs> You do have a point that they are ridiculously human. 
At least your ears are shifter. They're not, though. They're human. They are, and he's just, like, feeling his ears like, what? And bullfrogs don't have ears. What are you talking about, Zero? You see? Okay, see, you've got ears shaped like that. And here's, his ears are kind of like that. Okay, so he doesn't have the shifter or whatever going on. But his ears are still shaped alike enough. Otherwise, I, I'm pretty sure I would notice it's different. Because he, his ears are not so ridiculously human as, as Wiggly's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wiggly. <laughs> okay, I'm um, walking well, out of your hair, metaphorically speaking. I see you shaved recently, so... Yeah. Yeah, I was getting kind of hot. Also, easier to tell me apart from my brother. <laughs> I'll remember that. But what if he shaves? Yeah, until he gets fed up and shaves his head again. Yeah. Maybe you should grow a beard. It'll detract from the cheek thing, too. Uh, yeah. What if you got a tattoo on your scalp? always wanted to do that. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah. We will take care of these binocul these special binoculars for you. We will bring them back. You can get some piercings. Pointedly ignoring Zero. Come on, Zero. And I grab his hoodie and I start pulling him back. Back! I, like, push him after you, Red Ripper. Out the door. Come on! I appreciate you! Good to see you, Risa. Good luck with those two. Thanks. I will need it. We appreciate you, Jeremiah. And the door closes. Okay. Why would you need luck dealing with us? Not killer. As as the door shut, shutting, you're like, what the? F click. <laughs> <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Okay. Let us... Hmm... I want to try consulting contacts. <laughs> yeah? Who are you going to reach out to? I'm going to reach out to... One of the goblins. Okay. Oh, goodness. So... Roll to hit the streets. Plus... Wild. All right, so that one's technically hit the streets. Yeah. When you hit the streets to get what you need, it could still be, like, making a phone call, but it's your trying to find. That is going to total at eight for me. All right, so... On a hit, they're available and have the stuff. On a seven and two nine, choose one. Whoever you're going to is struggling their own problems, or whatever you need is more costly than anticipated. Also, does this goblin have a name? Don't you dare say Boblin. Oh, of course not. His name's Mortimer. <laughs> Mortimer the Goblin. They're struggling with their own problems. Where do you find this Mortimer? Or are you going to call him? I'm calling. Mortimer doesn't like me to drop by the on their doorstep. I don't think anyone like enjoys random zero day. Who does? You open your door and there's a zero day? Yeah, right? <laughs> what? I mean, I like it. Oh. I know Wubbles likes it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was an outright lie, Mark. A corruption. I got an angry text from Valentine every single time you drop by unexpected. I do too. I know, isn't it great? That means he's happy, right? <laughs> I do as well, and I'm no not even in the city yet. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie fades back in the corner. She actually he hasn't gotten a handle of em of emojis, and so it's really confusing. <laughs> you just hear the Jackie smoke voice in our mind, and we're like, "Who the hell is that?" It like shows up in mirror writing. No, you'd just be like, "Oh my God, is that Jackie smoke?" <laughs> oh my God, Jackie smoke. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm calling up Mortimer. Hey, Mortimer, how's it going? A little busy right now, dealing with a problem. Yeah, that's great. Hey, I got a question for you. <laughs> what? You know anything about ghouls? Why? 
there's a ghoul hanging out by a cafe that a bunch of normies visit. I figure it's in our, it's, it would be in, uh, you know, it'd be in uh, your boss's best interest if, if we got this taken care of. Nice and quiet, like. You just hear this groan of frustration. Of course you're already involved in this. You know it. Where has it been spotted? Uh, coffee shop. Oh, okay. Adam, I'm not good with human names. Uh, Captain. Catherine. Reza says it's Catherine. It is Catherine. It is. Okay, Threadripper says it's Catherine, so it's gotta be Catherine. It's also it that green spot cafe you would remember. Well, Zero might not remember, but... Dang, Pixies. <laughs> so if someone wants to share that, because pretty sure Zero was not paying attention. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Mortimer, is that you on the phone? Mortimer, it's the Green Spot Cafe. The, you know, Catherine, uh, the one with the hair. Zero, you should let me just talk to him. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So, how did you get involved in this? Okay. Do you want the story, or do you want to get on with life? Excellent point. I've got other things to deal with. What What do you need from me? Alright, why... I, I'm trying to figure out how to lure out a ghoul that's taken a liking to coffee grounds. There's some swearing in the language that not many people know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I understood that one! <laughs> Med says it a lot in the meetings. <laughs> she thinks I doesn't hear. Okay, who all's with you? I've got Red Ripper and I've got Riza. Okay, good. You've got two responsible adults with you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you two counted as responsible adults? I'm an adult? Oh, wait. I guess I would be. Yeah. <laughs> More than you. Riza is. By far. I'm responsible for a lot of things. I don't know if I would be counted as responsible, you know, but responsible is kind of a vague term and it's sort of defined by everybody in individually. When compared to Valentine, yeah, you're a little bit more responsible. Yeah, I'm responsible. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I guess I've got responsible people. Okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. And you're going to need my help. All right. What kind of help you looking to get? The ghoul you're after may have recently just broken out of the dungeon. <laughs> that was Ricky. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta write this down. May have blah blah jailbird. What? <laughs> jailbird? Did you just say jailbird? Apparently it's broken out of the dungeon. Yeah, it broke out recently. So, new jailbird. Oh boy. And you said it's been around the coffee shop? Escape convict. Yeah, it's, it's uh, grabbing the coffee grounds. Apparently it's it's trying to shift its magic signature or something. Oh, hell's not again. Again? Have you been able to track it? Again? It likes the coffee grounds behind Captain's Cafe and, uh... Catherine's Cafe. Yeah, Catherine's... What was that place called again? Green Spot. Green Spot, yeah. It, apparently, it goes to the dumpsters and it eats the grounds. Okay, it's been gone. Here, I'm doing math. The time under is Two to three days? You need to catch it tonight. Catch it tonight? Yeah. Last time it had access to that that much coffee for that many days in a row. Thankfully it was around New Year's, so most of the noises were attributed to fireworks going off, but there's a reason we had that in the dungeon. Explain. Okay. So... You'll give me information if we catch the thing. Uh, yes. You'll need some information to help catch the thing. 
Okay. I suppose that's a deal. I'll send some data information to your phone that you can use to plug into whatever devices you have to help track down the signal and... But your low jacket? We had Pixies help us catch it before and they were nice enough to write down the signals that they were tracking. I hope they got a good favor for that. Whether or not that is still accurate data given how long it's been and how much caffeine is probably consumed. I don't know if it's actually the caffeine or sometimes it's how it's roasted. Yeah, I don't know. That's a bit above my pay grade, but if you can catch it tonight, we can have someone there to collect it, and then you'll get a nice little reward. How does that sound? What is he saying, Zero? I think that sounds like a good deal. Hang on, hey, hang on here. Okay, quick question. Since I've got Riza and and Fredder for, uh, on this with me, they get favors too, right? Yes, you will all be rewarded. What do you think? What do you think? Those will be rewarded. Sweet! I like rewards. Hey, yeah, sending me an app to help track it. <laughs> Wait, might or might not work, but it'll also be data on how they caught it the last time. Eh, it's Pixie. I should be able to figure out. Hopefully. Just be careful. This one's a wily one. You have been listening to A Caffeine Conniption, a graveyard tape side quest in the game of Urban Shadows, featuring Caitlin as Riza, Rick the White Bird as Threadripper, and Angela Dumalog as Zero Day, with Brianna G as the Keeper slash Producer. Urban Shadows is an urban fantasy tabletop role-playing game in which mortals and monsters vie for control of a modern-day city political battleground layered just under the reality we think we know. It's based on the Powered by the Apocalypse system, and you can find it at Magpie Games.